Welcome collectors and thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the first gear 150 scale Komatsu D51PXI-22 crawler dozer with hitch. The item number as you can see on the brown outer shipping box in front of you is 50-3283. The model was delivered to me, as you see here in this brown outer shipping box. I have already cut the single piece of tape that was securing the brown outer shipping box. Once you do that, that gains access to the model's box, which you can see right here. Now, immediately, you can tell that this is not a very large model, and that's because the Komatsu D51 in the real world is not a very large dozer. Let's take a look at the box design. And the left-hand side in blue, you can see Komatsu. Then the box design for both versions of this model, whether it be the EXI or the PXI, is exactly the same, as you can see here. Caution, this product is an adult collectible recommended for collectors over the age of 14. Here's the first gear logo, 1 to 50 scale. Looking at the top of the box, you can see a picture of the real Komatsu 51 at work. Here is your Komatsu Intelligent Machine Control logo. This is what the side of the box looks like. On the back, we have a few pictures of the outline drawing of the machine at all of the different angles. And for those that are interested in reading about the real machine dimensions and measurements, feel free to pause my video right now. You can find those on the left-hand side of your screen right now. The last part of the box is the information that's on the bottom of it. And as you can see, we have the First Gear logo, their email, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube information. Once again, here's the item number one more time in case you need it. And then finally, this model was purchased from my good friends at ConstructionDieCast.com. So at the end of this review, if you find that you want one of these for your collection, visit ConstructionDieCast.com now to purchase yours. All right, what do you say we get this thing out of the box and begin the review? The first thing that you will need to do when you get this model out for the first time is you will have to cut the plastic that's on both sides of the clear plastic formers. And unfortunately, we welcome back our old friend slash enemy twist ties, and you'll have to undo a set of those as well. Once you are done navigating that life hurdle, you can then display your model. With the bulldozer out of the box, the first thing I want to do for you guys is to give you some indication of scale. Here is a 150th scale figure, and as you can see, he clearly comes up to the operator's door, so you can very plainly see that this is not a very large dozer at all. So if you are looking for a small dozer to complement your fleet of cat machines or other brands of construction equipment, this is not a bad option for you. Let's begin the review by taking a look at the detail and decal application on this first gear model. All of the decals are applied very crisply and to a high quality finish. You have Komatsu in blue. You have the D51PXI over here. Moving the dozer around to the rear, you can see Komatsu. You have a simulated tow hitch with a drilled through hole. So if you wanted to put a tow pin or anything in there, you can. There are two filler caps for the machine's fluids. There are very skinny plastic hand and grab rails on either side. There is a windshield wiper on the back portion of the cab, obviously your AC unit up here, and two very small and to scale antennas. Moving the machine around to driver's right, we can see those same decals applied on this side. The windows also look really good and they're used by obviously plastic. Taking a look inside the machine, there's been a fair amount of effort applied to try to get some interior detail, although there is nothing on the LCD panel screen inside. But you do have an operator seat, some foot pedals, and some, obviously, joysticks. Moving down, you can see the detailed tracks with some highlighted bolts on each of the track shoes. The tracks feature working rollers up top, here and here, which helps the tracks move very freely. Over here you have an air cleaner and an exhaust. Over here you have oversized hand and grab rails. They are plastic and perhaps they could be a little bit more skinny to add to the realism aspect. You then have your cylinders which power your six-way blade. There is a single 
black hydraulic line that goes to one of the cylinders in the blade. Looking directly at the machine, you do have your blade detail, such as your cutting edge and bolts, Komatsu in blue. Up here you have some lights, another single windshield wiper. If this was the forestry version of this model, which clearly this one is not, it has some forestry sweeps and some additional protection around the cab. Back around where we started, that will conclude the detail portion of this review. Let's now take a look at the machine's functionality. For the first part of the functionality test, let's take a look at the tracks and how well they roll. Obviously, this review area by design is a smooth white surface, so the tracks are not going to roll very well here. However, you can move them freely by hand, and obviously, any surface with any sort of friction, your tracks will roll very freely there. The only other working feature on this model is, of course, the blade, and I'm happy to report that because of the way First Gear has engineered this, the six-way blade can almost be used to pose this blade six different ways. So let's take a look at first its highest extremity, which goes up to about here without forcing anything. And it will go down to here without forcing anything again. And as you can see, it is strong enough and sturdy enough to lift the front portion of the crawler dozer off the ground, but not the entire machine. All right, let's take a look at some additional blade functionality. You can turn or angle the blade left or right, and there's a fair amount of tilt angle that can be achieved in this blade if you are careful and you know how to do it properly. So that ends the functionality aspect of this review. Now, in most U.S. states, it is legal to transport a crawler dozer of this size and weight class on a tag trailer. So this is a first gear tag trailer. Let's see how it might look. Here's our tag trailer. And here is a Diecast Masters International dump truck. So we'll hook these two up together as they form a pretty decent looking pair. And then we'll put our D51 PXI on the trailer just to see how it would look. So that concludes my review of the First Gear Komatsu D51 PXI Crawler Dozer in 150th scale. Overall, this is a very solidly executed 150th scale model by First Gear. If you're looking to add a little bit of diversity to your bulldozer collection, that primarily up to this point is mostly cap black and yellow, this is a really good option for you. As I said, during the beginning portion of this video, I purchased mine from ConstructionDieCast.com. This is not a new model, so you can find those there at your leisure as they have been out for a number of years. Thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.